All right, guys, how's it going? Walking down the streets to my car, truck, you know, vehicle. Um, I just seen this article talking about the top five, ex, you know, uh, anticipated games. And number one was Black Ops 3. And it beat it Fallout 4, which, which is kind of crazy. Anyway, I, I definitely understand it, I guess you could say, in the world. And big, big picture-wise, I guess, because, you know, basically because there's a very big diversity that plays it you know with kids and stuff kids and adults things of that nature but it sucks in general it does suck um i just pretty much want to get my thoughts on that part as well now mainly big wise i guess you could say because it's you know, Call of Duty has been big for years. You know, it's been big since it first debuted it a little bit, but it kind of made its big uh, presentation. It's very big, uh, I guess, iconic icon, iconic appearance or presence on um, on the first Modern Warfare back in 2007, if I'm not mistaken. You know, that was actually a pretty good game, but. Since then, it's been very, been very big, and of course, it's all going to be on the radar. Every Call of Duty game is on the radar. You know, this is how big a presence it has. Just like a uh, compared to a Grand Theft Auto, but it doesn't come out every year. You know, for shooters and stuff. So, in that sense, I can't, I can't understand. But you know, being being a very big follow uh, follow fan in general, and I'm actually one of one of the biggest games I'm looking forward to next month. There's some other games I'm looking forward to this year, but this year it was all about batman and then when fallout 4 was announced it was all about fallout 4 as well so it's kind of crazy other games that made it was assassin creed syndicate um I'm trying to remember the other games star wars star wars 3 battlefront well battlefront 3 and there was one more game that i'm missing that i'm not thinking of right now um i can't remember the game tomb raider Rise of Tomb Raider for Xbox One, time exclusive. We know it's coming to PC and PS4 sometime next year, early uh, early spring, or that year. Um, so that's why I actually my thoughts about it. You know, I definitely understand. I guess big comp, you know, on the outlook of it. Call of Duty, you know how big it is and stuff like that. And the fan base, that's just pretty much why, because the fan base itself. But, you know, Fallout 4, it's, you know, I, de I definitely, you know, do have to say something about that because personally wise, I don't think it's that big, big I don't think it's bigger than Fallout in general. Uh, but, you know, just basically how you think about it and you think about the culture around Call of Duty, it comes out every year. Many people play it, kids, adults and stuff. And Fallout 4, which is Fallout, which is a very big series in itself, but many people, like many kids, you won't see many kids play that. It's definitely a very big difference between that. So I definitely see why it's number one, uh, or voted number one over Fallout 4. But you know, when it comes to me and a couple of other guys as you know, Fallout fans, and in general, that doesn't really you know play Call of Duty games, they will actually kind of disagree that it's the uh, number one ex uh number one wanted or one of number one anticipated game of this year you know I, i'm not i'm not buying it me personally i'm not buying it you already said mine and i know some people that are going to buy it and some people aren't buying that so that's my thoughts case v3 i'm out uh let me know what you think do you think call of duty black ops 3 is actually better or more anticipated than Fallout 4 or do you like follow you know Fallout 4 over actual um you know actual uh call of duty you know it's definitely crazy definitely isn't really a big shock per se but i don't agree with it personally you know for personal reasons just let me know what you guys think in the comment section below i'm kc3 i'll see you guys later have one for day